everyone, um, Charlie Epsom here. We're back down the canal today. So after many months of trying to get this machine to work, um, we're going to take it for its first water test today. Um, obviously it's still in prototype form. We don't have a cover. That's why we've waited for a sunny day. Um, let's give it a go. So, uh, we're loaded up with all the important stuff. Toolbox, battery boxes in this crate, pump. Um, everything's a bit strapped together at the moment. So we've just got the main control computer linear actuator and driver all duct taped on prop obviously secured that with a split pin um, Jerry rigged up this hand controller here um, push that on we can see we've got a uh, 53 volts everything should be good um, let's give it a go minor snag um, which is that it's basically uncontrollable with the linear actuator there's no keel on this thing and it it can't react quickly enough or fast enough so that might put a temporary scupper on my plans for a remote controlled version but uh, nonetheless we're working really well we're out here in the canal um, did about four or five hundred meters at full power no messing about um, not having any real issues and as you can see we are moving so uh, we just need to keep up the test see how far we get and if it breaks down we'll just row back uh, 700 meters and one thing I've noticed is that this motor is getting really hot much hotter than I expected it to um, it's almost too hot to touch here at the bottom um, which is odd um, what I suspect is happening is that there's misalignment down there in the bearing and that's um, causing the motor to overheat it doesn't seem to be transferring its heat very well. Um, so what I need to do, obviously, I'll just keep running it because it's not going to kill it. Um, but uh, just keep an eye on it. It's probably draining the battery a bit quicker um, as a result of that than I would have liked. So um, we'll um, um, start heading back, um, do a few more passes and see. Just keep an eye on it. It might just need to run in. I mean, it's a Chinese motor, so who knows? Uh, let's see how we get on. Uh, was doing along just on just over a kilometer there and uh, motor grinds to a halt and I'm thinking oh no as the bearing seized so spin the prop you can see there's nothing wrong with it um, the motor's not seized up if anything there's no resistance at all there um, so I'm beginning to think that there might be a fundamental issue with this Chinese motor I think it's gone on thermal override so I'm just gonna let it cool down for a minute and see if it comes back doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the software. Um, the other thing, of course, it could be the controller, but um, you know, just feeling around the controller, that's warm. In fact, again, it's warmer than I would like. Um, but uh, we'll just let things cool down and see, see where we go from here. In fairness, if the motor's running at 95%, you know, the, um, the gauges here have been consistently reading um, sort of 900. To a thousand watts so you could have 50 60 watts or more blasting out the bottom any anyway um, and not getting taken away so we'll just keep monitoring it see if it comes back if it doesn't come back we'll just row back um, dismantle go back to the shop find out what's happened but certainly um, I would say this is a qualified success uh, not an unqualified success but definitely a qualified success at the end of the day I've gone a kilometer at well over walking pace um, before I've had any trouble and uh, that's a lot more than I could expect really for a first test so we'll just have to see um, what the situation is um, whether it comes back or not and uh, what happens when it does if it does and uh, I'll get you posted on that. <laughs> have a thermal problem that I need to investigate was to be honest I hadn't even thought in my wildest nightmares that I'd have a thermal issue and obviously the controllability issue in the linear actuator mode I'll have a think about that 
But fundamentally, um, when I looked at the figures, it's faster than rowing. Uh, averaged um, uh, five kilometers an hour there instead of 3.6. Um, so that's not bad. Um, there's a couple of minor issues, like the motor's too high out of the water. So we were definitely losing efficiency there. So I've cut down the um, mount. That's obviously also why I was sitting on the back um, to try and keep the prop in. Um, but other than that, I think we're, we're good. We'll sort this out and we'll uh, take it from there. Thanks for watching.